What's up guys, my name is Justin. Welcome back to the channel today. We are back on iRacing in the Pontiac Solstice at Laguna Seca. And I need to do some explaining before we get into this. Um, this is going to be a similar kind of tone to the last time I was in the Pontiac on this channel. Um, in that race at some point, a handful of weeks ago, a couple of weeks, months ago now I guess probably. But... Um, I said that that would probably be the last time that iRacing appeared uh, properly on this channel. And uh, that was kind of my final hurrah. Hurrah, hurrah, hooray, haru. Um, I was planning on not renewing my sub, <coughs> which is coming due in a couple weeks, uh, middle to end of December. I'm still a little sick, so bear with me. Um, I was planning not to renew my sub, unfortunately, a couple things circumstantially happened that changed that. Uh, so I did decide to renew, I uh, decided to go for another year, go through 2023 and see what happens. I was excited to reinvigorate myself, uh, try some new things, some new challenges and see, uh, if I could use the Pontiac as kind of my main catalyst is which to, to attack that. And, um, unfortunately it was announced today that the Pontiac Solstice, at the end of this current season, which is unfortunately today would be no more, um, is being replaced in part by the Toyota GR86 in the production car challenge. So this car's 14 plus year run as kind of a staple bottom level car on iRacing is coming to an end. Uh, and there's one race left. I, I literally left work early to be a part of this race. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't even care if we win, honestly. Um, I want to be a part of it. I'd love to win it. I don't know if we're going to win it. This is probably honestly going to be the biggest Pontiac split of the entire season, maybe of the entire year. I'm not, I haven't kept up on all the splits, obviously, or the points or anything. But uh, basically, anyone that's ever driven the Pontiac and enjoyed it is kind of planning on showing up for this race um, at Laguna. So it's going to be an absolutely incredible race to be a part of. Just kind of pay tribute to this car as I forget how to drive it completely. <coughs> I'm dying. But uh, I, I want to put my best foot forward. I want to be the one to win the race and represent the car. But honestly, I'm just going to be thankful to be a part of it and be able to memorize this car the way it deserves to be. And that's uh, with a great race. A track that I like, not my favorite track. It's not Summit, but uh, it's a good track. And uh, I'd love to be the one to win the race. But honestly, I'd just like to make sure that I'm a part of this race and have a good time and enjoy it because it's kind of the last thing of its kind on iRacing. So. I don't know what's coming next. I don't know what I'm going to drive in upcoming seasons. If I'm going to honestly race official stuff at all, uh, maybe I'll look at some other different things I haven't really tried before. Maybe I'll enjoy the new Toyota. Who really knows? But uh, What I do know is that this is it for this car. Uh, we'll try to send it off with a bang. I want to be prepared. I want to be ready. Should be a good event. I'm going to enjoy it. If my brake pedals would not stick, that would be great. This would not be the race for that. Don't care about the incidents. I don't care about the eye rating. Um, honestly, I don't say this very often. It's not true very often. If I have to junk someone in the last corner to win this race, I will. I 100% will. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'll come down that great group of drivers. It is pretty tough pretty tricky track to pass on especially with this new tire for the last couple of seasons that this uh, or last couple of years this car has had because you carry so much more corner speed now but uh, we'll see how it plays out but uh, this is this is going to be it this is going to be the last Pontiac race probably ever on iRacing so It's important to me for me to be a part of it. So we'll get a couple laps in here, five to 10, and then we'll go uh, get ready for the race. Still just trying to get everything up and running here. I haven't raced anything in over a week. I've been pretty sick. 
probably hear it in my voice. That's a very bad lap, honestly. Um, but, you know. Fast guys have been in the high 42, so we got to find like two seconds from that last lap. Going to be easier said than done, but again, I, I really don't care, honestly, so. pretty sad about it um i get why they're doing it i get that it's an extremely old car that you know can be replaced with something new and fresh but uh the passionate group that still follows this car is among the best on i racing and to see that just kind of get brushed aside again in a numbers game which i've talked about before is kind of sad but uh nothing i do can do about it i don't get a vote so you know it is what it is Just gotta make the best of it, try to go out with a bang. I have no idea if I have speed, I would assume not. 43.8. Brakes are still dragging, so what I'm gonna do is just get out and pump those for a little bit. It's not ideal by any means to have brake stick for sure. It's just not the race, not the time. <laughs> 67 degree track temp is plenty cool enough to find speed, I would think. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. It, he'll probably go deaf many times in this race from me uh, coughing my absolute brains out. Uh, yeah, so we got about 20 minutes here. I'd like to get a nice, like, five lap run in, but, you know. I have no idea if this will be a, a popular race. I would assume it would be. It's the last one. But uh, I don't know. Some, I don't know what a notable group has said they were going to be here. So that's what I'm looking forward to is those guys. Uh, great group to race with. Again, if we lose a bunch of irony, I don't even really care. So it is what it is. I know a lot of guys that race in the series even, but don't necessarily race the Pontiac, or at least regularly, are kind of giving it one last hurrah. So that's going to be cool to see. Um, again, that's kind of a regular, it certainly used to be a regular. I'd like to be the representative that wins the last one. I think that's probably unlikely, but, you know, who knows? So I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know what's going to happen. I just, I want to be a part of it. I made sure I wanted to be a part of it. So we'll see. I haven't told anyone I plan on being there. So anyone else that is there that knows me, it's going to be a, a good kind of reunion surprise thing uh, together with them. So, all right, let's see if this brake will do brake pedal things now. I'd just like to get five laps and that would be, that would be sufficient. Of course, this isn't race fuel as well, uh, so keep that in mind on the second flying lap. Uh, 42 7 or whatever really fast would be uh, isn't necessarily the benchmark with race fuel. Probably not really going to need tire saving. I would assume not in the race uh, in this temperature. Hotter temp, maybe, but uh, you definitely don't want to burn stuff up unnecessarily.
So yeah, I am a little bit rusty and out of shape. I wasn't planning on racing any this week just because I had been sick. Uh, I was preparing the race before I was sick. Um, but then obviously being sick, I was focused on that and basically not dying. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'd feel more comfortable, I guess, or happier if this race was at Summit. But uh, I can't remember the last time Summit was the season end or maybe never. So. All right, let's see what kind of two lap speed we got here. Yeah, I carry a little more speed than that through there, but that was okay for a turn in at least. Don't want to plow too bad. Don't know if fourth is the move up here or not. We're going to say no for now and leave it with third, but I don't know. And there are going to be enough fast guys in here that you're probably not going to be out of it, even if you don't start right up at the front. But again, passing quality drivers around here is difficult. So we'll see. Got to avoid that curve. It's a good way to die. A little better lap, I think, maybe. Ah, a little slower, but the first lap, it's okay. Let's see if we can pick up a little bit here. May have been a little better through there. Don't know for sure. A ah, little bit of dirt there probably cost us a little bit of time. I caught on the inside. Just a nice little tap of the brake and lift to get turned in there. Nose stuck pretty well. You're gonna have to push so hard to win this race too. It's it's gonna be crazy. I remember when the uh, Riley DP was being put out of production. That final race was nuts. So I would anticipate nothing but the same here in terms of all the people coming out of the woodworks and everything. So let's see what this one is. 43.3, that's okay. That's not great, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm actually going to just kind of go and focus on the other things here, not the lapping. We got about 10 minutes. No, nope, that's not what I want. We got about 10 minutes here, so I'm going to start looking around at other stuff. See who else may show up. It's probably going to be massive amounts of solstices. <laughs> Austin Knight, good guy. Brian's a good guy. He's usually a Jedi guy. 
Uh, Gary Winters raced him some back in the times. A couple guys I don't know. Uh, Laura Gerhard, don't know. Uh, Sebastian Handler, good guy. Another good guy. So, yeah, there aren't that many solstices right now. That's interesting. Only about eight or so. But still got ten minutes. Ready to rock and roll. Again, I don't think I... Uh, <coughs> I should say I highly doubt they'll be the favorite or anything. Maybe I will be for some reason, but, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, let's see if I can find the results for the previous one. I don't know if... Uh, they would be up yet or not, but worth a look. So that would have been the 4.30. Uh, nope, don't have results yet for that. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be kind of a late time slot for some of the world, especially, to join in, which kind of sucks. But uh, hopefully a lot of the Americans will be off work, the prominent American solstice drivers. My nose is still a faucet right now. That's not ideal. But uh, not a lot I can do about it at this point, other than stuff my nose full of Kleenex and hope for the best. Uh, who else have we got in here? Mockler is here. Uh, Fleming is here. So there's a good number of prominent Solstice drivers, I guess. That makes that makes me happy that people are coming out and not just letting the car die without a whipper. So, <coughs> excuse me again. It does make me happy to see people drive the car one last time. So. Uh, I'm wondering if Likens will show up. I know Likens ran one earlier. Um, he's not the biggest fan of the car, but, you know. I'm definitely, almost certainly, going to be the top Pontiac. There aren't going to be any other 6Ks I don't anticipate. Maybe there will be, but that would that would surprise me quite a lot. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of... I kind of like my chances if uh, things just kind of play out like a normal race, but that this is for sure anything but a normal race. I'm actually going to go grab a Kleenex. I'll be back momentarily, so please hold. Okay, I am back. Make sure my recording is still up and working correctly. It appears to be sweet. Uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really have any other prep I can do here or anything. Nothing's jumping out. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm just sad, man. When I was at work sitting and read that they were replacing the car with, you know, virtually no warning, I was just kind of like, man, this is, it's pretty eye racing to do that, you know, just be like, hey, by the way, you know, tomorrow, it just sucks, you know, it's, some of the best parts of eye racing are stuff that you don't really see anymore like this, and uh, they seem to be in such a numbers game that it's just, you know, force as much new stuff as they can down your throat. Eric Ronenberg is here. He's a good guy. Super good driver. I think 
key is going to be very fast. Very much fast. So he's probably the new favorite. Um, again, I, I think I'll be okay. I'm not sure we can beat these guys that certainly have been racing all day and maybe even all week and all season uh, with my, you know, 15 minutes of warm-up here. But... But that's okay. I, I I genuinely don't care. If if this is a last place finish and I lose 150 irony, I genuinely don't care because that's not what this race is about. So um, as much as that would kind of suck to be honest with you to <laughs> go in and flop in the last race for me in this car, it's uh, I I really don't care. That's not what this race is about, and I'd rather uh, have it be a fun one than a successful one. So. That's why I'm recording it, so no matter what, I can go back and look at and be happy and proud and enjoy whatever comes of this. So, so yeah, I guess that's uh, that's kind of the moral of this story. <coughs> I'm dying. I'm genuinely dying still somehow. Uh, let's see. I don't know what kind of lap times I want here. Uh, still reading. Forty-two seven is pretty damn fast, though. That's what uh, Eric ran in practice earlier. I don't know if that's a accurate representative lap time uh, for the conditions I was in. I would assume it is, and maybe even faster, honestly. Uh, the toe does play, play a little bit of a part around here, a couple tenths, but not enough to just you know be a draft track or anything like that. So, um, you know, the Q lap is going to be really key, which I have not strong at for those of you that know me um good qualifier not great by any means so that part of it kind of sucks but you know we'll see what we got i'd like to think we'll be okay i'd like to think that it, uh, it'll work itself out i don't know what the fastest guys this week have run but uh surely we'll be kind of sort of in the mix but whatever all right i'm still trying to read here Get a field update. We got about five minutes left, and field starting to fill up. Alan McCain, good guy. He's here. Good to see it. A lot of super good Pontiac drivers. So there are there are going to be a good amount of ironing points on the line here, uh, which could help or hurt me depending on you know how this goes. Obviously, I don't want to be the one to give it all away, uh, but you know. Someone's got to do it, and if it's got to be me for the sake of this race, then like I said, I've already accepted that's fine. I'd rather be a part of it. So, On the bright side, Thomas Mockler won't be in top split, I don't think, which is great because he's a scrub and he never shuts up. So, uh, Sad time. Sad time. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Just gotta remember to register. That would be a stupid thing to do. Missed the race because I forgot to register. So, we'll see how it goes. I guess the goal, the only goal, then is to stay above 6,000 ironing. Which, if I manage to lose in a good split, 127 ironing, then, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. I'm dying still and more. Uh. 
All right, time to go. Select the Pontiac Solstice for the last time. The final race of the season, final race of the year, 2022, as far as I racing is concerned, at least. Do one final check of the entry list here. Aaron Likens did make it. That's great. So this is going to be an absolutely crazy SOF. I'll bet you some of these guys with 2Ks plus won't make it in. I'll bet you it's going to take a 3K to maybe even make it. We got a couple of 4500s there. Um, a lot of 3Ks, and some of these guys honestly probably won't make it there in 2+. plus. So there might be three or four splits with Pontiacs in them at this rate, which is cool. Kyle Ridley is here as well. Great Pontiac guy from back in the day. We've had plenty of good battles with him. Not on the channel necessarily, but I have. Yeah, I think some of these guys at like 2,500 and below won't even make a uh, top split, which is absolutely crazy. But uh, that's great to see. It'd be great to see six or so fast, really fast Pontiacs in this race. That would be awesome. So we're definitely going to be the tops among them. We're definitely going to be the one to give away some irating here when this all goes wrong. But uh, I don't even care. So that's not what it's about. It's about celebrating this great car. So do one more check that uh, stuff is Raya running correctly. Yep, 27 minutes in now. Cool. We got about five seconds left until the final Pontiac race. So ready to rock and roll. I got sweaty palms, not because I'm nervous. Usually I'm nervous and I'm hyped for races, but uh, this isn't that. This is more of uh, you know wishing that there was more left after this. But uh, you know, all good things have to come to an end eventually. I learned that a long time ago, and uh, it's hard to remember that sometimes, but uh, it's important to remember that. So you got to make the best of it, and we'll keep rocking with it. So no, no tears here. We're just gonna go win, and it's time to go try to win one more race. Let's see what this entry list ends up looking like. Hopefully it's, like I said, six or seven really fast guys, really good guys. We can have a great race. That would be the ideal, because uh, that doesn't matter how I finish, honestly. Likens, Kadu, <laughs> Brian Savelski, Daniel, Ronenberg, me, Parrish, Ridley, Silvera. You did need to be like a 4K to get in here. Parrish might be the last one at 3,500. Uh, no, Warham's in here at 3K. So you had to be a 3K to make this split. That's crazy. All right. <coughs> Let's do it. Kadu is definitely the favorite now. He is uh, he's unbelievably fast in pretty much everything. But uh, we'll see what we can do. I've seen weirder stuff happen. So just about uh, enjoying this one. In 10 years, this is the very first race I've ever done where I do not give a shit if I finish last and lose irony. I'm just here to enjoy it. Copy. Wreckfest for all of us. If we all DQ, we all get the tie, right? That's my theory. I knew, I knew it was a solstice send-off. I didn't know it was a Viking funeral. No, it kind of is. Got a bunch of the uh, PCC heads of state here. It should be a fun one. Thanks for putting this together, Likens. <laughs> the strength of field's ridiculous. Uh, it's, uh, I, this is the first time I've road raced this in ugh, a decade. I should have been here sooner. Same. I haven't touched this car since 2011. When I was on my old account, my first account. Remember the Watkins Glen like that, like two seasons ago. 
I don't have as, as nice of a story as y'all have. It's just a nice relaxing thing. All right, let's do it. Final Q laps. Let's make them count. <coughs> Yep, recording this one for YouTube so I can go back and watch it with my grandkids. This is like iRacing history. This is like their first car almost. I remember when they killed off the Riley DP and everybody came out of the woodworks and it was really cool and I'm glad I'm a part of this one. Yeah, we had a big send-off race at Daytona for the, the Z4 GT3. That was really fun. Riley DP is another one of my favorites that I forgot about. I think it's going to race in the uh, Week 13 stuff. I think one of the fun ra I think one of the fun races is uh, has the DP in it. How many other uh, past overall champs do we have here? K do myself and the other ones. Not in this car. Yeah, sorry, Brian. Jed doesn't count. <laughs> I know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you should have to start from the pits. All right, here we go. I know it won't be too much longer before we're doing a Jetta race like this. Yep. I will I will drag that car to to the end of time running gate. <laughs> I'll figure out a way. I thought I'd done that with this. I thought that I'd propped it up just enough, but nope, I racing has to go I race. So you had to give him a bunch of money. As a former Toyota owner, they can screw off now. That was terrible. Okay. <laughs> Focus up. <laughs> Will this be the highest strength of field solstice race ever? Depends. What is it? 4.2. Nah, there was one the year I won the title that uh, Cliff Eben was in that was almost 5. Well, this was a throwaway lap because I was talking the whole time, but I'll try to nail this last one here. Forty-four four is not good. Forty-three one, Jesus.
Well, it's not a great lap, but another half a tenth would have been a couple of positions better, so Let's see what we can make happen in the race here. Katie was insane. I mean, so was Kyle, and so were all these guys, but Marcos is up here, too. Oh, yeah, if I could have had another tenth, it would have been up in fourth. Let's see if we can finish there. <laughs> Man, I hate when Kadu shows up to these things. <coughs> I'm dying. I'm dying a terrible slow death. All right, top five is the goal now, I guess. We can beat Kevin and Marcos, I think. I think. <laughs> we'll see. I think we can beat Likens and Brian. I think I can beat Kevin as well, but we'll see. I don't really have a plan to be honest with you. I don't know uh, I don't know what to expect, but Fifth out of nine would not be bad. Honestly, we probably wouldn't even lose that much irony for fifth out of nine. But are we gonna have one last tradition of a rogue Mustang killing the Pontiac leader when he has a big lead? Potentially. Hey, does four point three gallons get us to the end? Easily. Uh, there is a two hundred I rating Mustang, so I wouldn't count that out. And is this, tra this transparency been strong enough to keep bouncing it off in third gear up the hill? Negativo. It's a Pontiac. Now I feel like the dude in Star Trek with the blue shirt. All right. Big split. I just learned about the solstice not that long ago, so I didn't even realize, but I'm glad to be here to watch this. I'll be saving this replay for sure. Probably better I'm not actually in a solstice. Wow. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Dominic Martinelli. Don't know who that is either. All right. Fifth is the goal. If we can get top five, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, I told myself I wouldn't cry, but you know. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe it. This is great. I I don't even care. <laughs> it's gonna be weird for competition too. I can assume, only assume the Great Six is the least faster than a Jetta. I think it should be, but yeah, it's going to be weird. Let's see how that slots in. As long as everything's modeled correctly, it should slot in between the Miata and the Mustang. Not that that's a huge gap anyway. I think it's a terrible choice. Yeah, that's kind of the worry I think a lot of other people have had too, is that it's going to kind of slot in, slot in between those cars and just... Uh, end up, you know, being more more bog for everybody else that's behind them. 50% of me hopes that that car is an absolute bomb in terms of ruining this series, but half of me says that that would be a real shame. No, they just need to rename it to Demo Derby. Might as well go to reverse grid standing starts at that point. Yeah. There'll be 25% uh, more cars for uh, the last Mustang that spins that have to worry about hitting them.
Just imagine the chaos in the Jedi next season. I can't wait. Love chaos. It's the same for everyone. Maybe I like your thing. Yeah, it won't matter what car you run next season. It'll be chaos. Yep. I gotta learn the 86 anyways, because I'm in the league that's running it, so whoop you do I guess that means I'm running oval again. Woo! Is 86 a uh, H pattern? Sequential. We're getting rid of all the H patterns. <laughs> Boo, I want an H pattern to replace the Jetta, that's what I want. I want a McLaren F1 LM for the series, please. That would make more sense than what they did, though. At least there's a speed differential. That's the saddest part. Remember the days the Mustang ran with the Riley? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember that, and I'm scared to even think about it. That must have been, like, right before my time, because I remember hearing about it, but it wasn't a part of it. No, Kevin. Kevin, no! No! Okay, well, see you guys in the front four later. Well, there's my fifth. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we're going to be able to run them down. Maybe we will, but we'll see. We'll be able to race with Aaron at least for a little while. Maybe someone will die. That'd be interesting. I don't see it happening, but it could happen. All right, now we're in no man's land, I think. Oh, push there. That's not good. All right, one lap down. We haven't completely lost touch, so that's good, I guess. Just mostly. <laughs> k has gone, 100%. Again, maybe some traffic and stuff will come into play. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe there will be some attrition here for second, third, and fourth, and we can maybe get on the back of these guys, maybe grab a spot. Kadu's already gone. Unsurprisingly, perhaps, but still.
Oh, let's not die, Justin. Come on. Easy killer. Forty three four, it's okay. Just just about maintaining. Maybe not quite. Uh, all right, we have broken away from Aaron at least, so if I don't make any weird mistakes here like that, <laughs> jeez, just a little bit deep, that's fine. Again, we really don't have, I, I might have the same pace as these guys, but we're not going to catch them or anything crazy. Not from this far back for sure when they're in the draft, so unless some shenanigans take place, which could happen. I don't anticipate it. they're all clean guys, but weird stuff could happen with traffic or whatever. This is going to be the worst YouTube video ever. I got the flu, so I'm coughing all over the place and I'm racing nobody. You can slow up and I can race you. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'd gladly give you a race back here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm naturally coming back. I've just tucked in behind Marcos, trying to get back up to the pack. <coughs> Apologize for deafening everybody there. My bad.
struggle through that last corner just a little bit, and I don't think I'm great through the first corner either. It's a little bit of a shame that Kadu felt the need to jump that start that much. We kind of got caught sleeping a little bit, especially since he's driven away anyways. I don't anticipate either Kyle or Eric to get dirty up there. I haven't raced much with uh, Daniel, so I don't know how he typically drives, but I assume he's plenty clean as well. So, Only chance is, you know, some mistakes or traffic perhaps could shake things up, but again, unlikely. So who knows? I also have no idea how long this race is. I'd assume like 16 laps for us or so, but... I don't know. That's not going to help. Come on, Justin. Come on, Justin. Let's get better now. We're already just about halfway. Not quite. So, yeah, probably no more than 16 laps for sure, I would say. So, I keep rocking and rolling here. Looks like Eric has closed up a little bit there. Maybe make it interesting. Perhaps. They gotta at least try the pass, right? <laughs> Go for it, why not? <laughs> On the bright side of the field like this, finishing fifth out of nine, we'll lose some, but we definitely won't lose a ton. So. I mean, the nine at the top, I think 11 or 12 cars are the nine solstices, so shows you what kind of field this is even. This has been a good race, actually, to run something else since all the notable people are running this. <laughs> Didn't even consider that, but I was going to run this, obviously. I'll keep that in mind if they re retire any of the other cars. If they ever kick out the Jetta, drive the Mustang that race or something. Yo, I'm going to back off, but we need to catch number two. Aaron's going to get caught in a bad spot here, I think, by the Mustang, perhaps. Again, he's a Jetta racer, probably not super familiar with getting lapped by the Mustang class. They probably don't do it every week like we do. Nope, he's actually going to get caught around the straight. Sweet. So hopefully he'll catch me up the hill. <laughs> Should. Go ahead here, Mr. Mustang. Just about going to get through. Brian's almost fallen back to Kevin and something must have happened to Marcos back there. Maybe they had contact somewhere. I think Aaron had a problem there. Just a slight one, maybe a slowdown.
that was really starting to run now. Not good. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't start dripping down everywhere and slick off my wheel or something weird. <laughs> I know that's totally gross, but thinking worst case scenario here. We're all good for now. Mustang there did decide to wait behind Eric for the kink at least. Good call. Just keep going, Eric. I'll pass you on the straight. Just going to wait for all of them for the straight, which is nice. Almost got a little bit too much dirt there. We're still good. A couple more Mustangs coming. Don't know how many there are. I didn't even look. Eric has now launched touch with Kyle and Daniel. Almost a 1x there. Not good. Still all right. Still just clicking along. That's not a great lap there, but again, it makes no difference unless something happens. So something happened to the lead Mustang there. Don't know what that was. Fell behind all three of those guys. Mike should get us here. Make it nice and predictable. <coughs> there comes Dominic and the Mazda. He's flying if he's keeping up even with these slower Mustangs. He's killing it right now. Big lead. Obviously, he's an exceptional no in his own right. That was sloppy again. Good, we'll get a nice little suck up the hill just a little bit. Every bit counts. Just a little bit helps. A couple tenths is good. He's killing him. He's got a 10 or 11 second lead. That's great. <laughs> Some shit I used to do at Summit. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I gotta find a new car to drive while I'm thinking of it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do more oval stuff. Maybe I'll do rally car. I don't know. Oh no, Daniel looks like he had an issue. Looks like he can probably keep going though. I wonder if there was contact there or something. Looks like Kyle's dropping back, so maybe there was. That's the right, bad. I tried to avoid it. Couldn't get it. 
Yeah, we'll see if he's damaged now or what happens. A little bit of curve there unnecessarily. And that's why you always gotta stay in the hunt, because we're too far back to capitalize on stuff like that. So is what it is. Yeah, if you're those guys that have meatball, that'd be alright with me. You know, give up uh, another spot to me, that'd be alright. Not for them. They don't want it for them, but for me. See how bad the damage on Daniel's car is regardless. Yeah, perhaps if he's really hurting, we might be able to still catch him, but I don't think that's likely. Yeah, he's off track. He's all over the place. Must be pretty broken. <laughs> See if we can get him. How much time we got? A couple laps, three laps probably. Don't know. Not sure we have the time. Especially with traffic interference here. Need to get sucked up here. That'll help. I don't know why you'd pass there, but whatever. Help a little bit. Yeah, he must have some fairly big damage. Look at that. Wheel damage or something. Cost us there a couple tenths. Still made up a little bit though. Still a shot. These cars hurt pretty bad, it looks like, so. We aren't quite done yet. Can't dick around though. Especially with any more traffic. Now he looks like he's back up to speed, so I don't know. Struggles up the hill, though. I don't know. It's just about crashing, damn.
Yeah, you drive like a dick. Alright, last lap. Let's hope that the monsters go fuck him up too. They won't, but you know. Yeah, I can hope. Yeah, I get close enough to have a shot up the hill, I think. That's our best place. Have a big look. I don't know what's up with this car, but... We gotta push on. Yeah, he's crabbing big time. Look at that. <laughs> Really struggling. I think we can get him, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that was a poor corner, though. <laughs> Gotta be faster here. Nope, not close enough. We need more time. <laughs> this car's got to be so bad. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We deserve to finish fifth. I'm okay finishing fifth, like I said. So, Good race, guys. Family photo. Well, that sucks. It was right in front of us, but uh, we didn't deserve to catch him. We were well off pace anyways. So. Yeah, and I had you pushing. I'm going to go take a family photo anyways. I don't care if anybody else does. <laughs> <coughs> oh, well, that's it. That was fun. Uh, don't care. We probably gained SR technically because 0x is good, but... Uh, I'm guessing we lost about 30 irony probably, which would be... Where are we taking the photo? I'm going start-finish. Sounds like a plan. We've already lost one, though. Yeah, k is a poor sport, you know. <laughs> Like and Zero member of like the uh, iRacing Facebook page or something, right? You can post this. Uh, I'm not. I thought somebody was. Who was? Uh, I can post it on Twitter, and I know a couple of them follow me. That works. Also going to blog about this race for tomorrow. Nice. I was watching those splits trying to chase you down here, and then Miata decided to throw himself into the mix and kill me. Don't mind me. And do we want a flying B formation? What we want? Do a flying B would be cool. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Justin, take points since you were like the number one solstice person forever. Do we have an even number left? Yes, we do. Just 
stuff to be a part of this. Yep. It's one of those things where you finish really in the long long run doesn't matter. Any any I rating is whatever you lose will get back. I mean this group's probably gonna go out and next season win like half the half the races they run in P C C anyways. Oh, I probably lost my A life just now, but I don't care. I might have lost Division One status, but that's not the biggest thing in the world. I should be getting it back this season, so. Mm -hmm. I would have given up my 6K to be a part of this, and that's the first time I've ever said that. Well, boys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Much love. Never forget. Yep, yep. I will see you all around. I'm sure I'll see you all in races soon here. Flat out the corkscrew, anyone? Yeah, let's do it. Can you even get this thing to drift? I think so. Otherwise, I'm not sure how I spun that time at uh, Watkins Glen. It didn't quite work. <laughs> I'm set. I'm on fire! Help me, I'm on fire! <laughs> love to see it. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Gotta go get me a nice uh, flying V picture of everybody there. On the way down to turn one probably is the best spot. Uh, what do I want? F12. That's pretty damn cool. That's pretty freaking cool, I tell you. Yeah, maybe from the side spare, other side. Sure, we got everybody in there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's just that's just wonderful. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. All right. Now let's go see what the damage was that I don't care about, but we'll see what the damage was nonetheless. Probably, I would guess, 30 or so. 37, that's not too bad. I don't care. How much did Kadu gain? How many points did he get for that? Had to have been a bunch. Adu plus 57 is nuts. That's probably a ton of points he just got. He ran a 41.9. Yeah, we weren't catching that anyways. Oh, man. What a crazy race. I'd love to see it. I probably wasn't the biggest loser. No, because a couple guys went out. But 
wonder what happened to Ryan there, because Ryan was rocking good. Must have made a mistake or something. Well, oh, that's, uh, that's a wrap. What's the two car? He was 5,900, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That's that. Time to save that picture. Oh, I want paint, yes. Now I gotta paste it first, shit. <laughs> Ah, shit, I said 2-5, it's 12-5. I'll just go adjust it, it's fine. Screenshots. Rename. 12-5. All right, cool. Email this to myself after I end the stream. That's going to be that. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Long live the Pontiac Solstice, and uh, we'll see what comes next. Maybe I'll love the 86. Maybe we'll find something else to drive, but uh, there's never been anything like it. So give it a little bit of a moment of silence here uh, for the Pontiac, and uh, that'll be that. Do I have any backgrounds with the Pontiac? I think they're all everything else. Yeah, they're all the Merc and stuff. All right, well, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's that. That's uh, There goes my favorite car. So... We did good. I'm glad we ended up with the top five at least. So that's that. It's all, all said and done. So till next time. Bye bye.